We are continuing to follow breaking news this evening. COPA releasing body cam videos of a Chicago police shooting that left a 26-year-old man dead. An officer also wounded in that exchange of gunfire. Lieutenant Sean Lewis is joining us now in studio with more on the recording. Sean. Ray and Mike, how the video is not easy to watch. We're trying to stitch these pieces together. It shows the entire traffic stop by plainclothes officers of 26-year-old Dexter Reed on March 21st. Now, according to COPA, this stop involved five CPD tactical officers who were assigned to the 11th district. It was about 6 p.m. when those officers made the stop at Ferdinand and Hamlin. We Roll see the, the perspective down. from all five tactical Roll officers. The Roll the window down. What are you doing? As they approach the white SUV, that's roll Dexter that Reed down. in the driver's seat. And within seconds, don't roll the window up. I'm don't roll, roll the window up. Okay, okay. Do not roll the window up. The officers raise their voices, the ordering Reed to unlock, unlock the doors. The Less than 10 seconds oh, later, open the door now. Open the door now. Copa found Reed fired the first shot. Take a look at this wider view from across the street. Those puffs of smoke are coming from Reed's SUV out of the passenger window. The officer that was at that window was shot in the wrist and scrambles away as other officers return fire. Reed drives forward into that dark SUV that's parked right on the street. 30 seconds after the first shot was fired, Reed gets out, crouches to the back of the SUV, officers continuing to fire, and Reed drops to the ground. As officers approach Reed, and before the ambulance okay. arrives, watch your hands, watch your hands, watch your hands. Officers start CPR. From the very first shot to the last, 96 shots are fired. It is just 38 seconds of time. I know that you can make your own decisions when you look at that video. Ahead of the release, CPD Superintendent Larry Snelling promised transparency. We're going to put this public but we're going to give you context. The release of these materials is about making information available to the public. After the video's release today, the head of COPA had this to say. COPA's review will also examine the propriety of the traffic stop that initiated these events and any other facts or circumstances that were relevant to this incident. And COPA released more than 30 videos associated with its investigation today on one of them, you hear a higher ranking Chicago police officer who had just arrived minutes after that shooting call Dexter Reed by name. Right now, COPA says the reason for that traffic stop was a seatbelt violation, but there are questions if officers actually knew who they were pulling over at the time they did it. That part of this incident is still under investigation and will be for quite a number of more months. Well, all right, and there's a lot more for us to cover here, Sean. Thank you. The family of Dexter Reed coming forward to express their outrage and call for accountability for this fatal police shooting. WGN's Julian Cruz live in West Town with that part of the story. Julian. Well, Mike and Ray, the distraught family watching the body cam video, so difficult to see for them. Uh, this, according to their lawyer, Andrew Stroth, this happened yesterday. The family grieving the loss of 26-year-old Dexter Reed, the former Westinghouse high school basketball star who was killed March 21st in that police-involved shooting. I just hope that there's people out there that understand he was a son, he was a brother. Dexter Reed's sister and loved ones haunted by the body cam video. Why they did that to my son? They didn't have to do them like that. The grieving family gathered with lawyers today. 96 rounds were fired by these officers. Here on the West Town doorstep of COPA, the Civilian Office of Police Accountability. During today's emotional press conference, visible in the top left-hand corner of your screen, you can see Dexter Reed's mother fainting. Attorney Stephen Hart pointing to what he says was the disproportional use of force, all for allegedly not wearing a seatbelt. Reed killed in a barrage of bullets, but investigators asserting that he fired first, wounding one of the tactical police officers on the scene last month in Humboldt Park. Copa later reporting that investigators found a gun on the pavement. We're specifically asking the mayor and police chief Snelling to disband these tactical units. In a written statement, Chicago Police News Affairs saying, quote, 
This shooting remains under investigation by the Civilian Office of Police Accountability with the full cooperation of the Chicago Department. We cannot make a determination on this shooting until all the facts are known and this investigation has concluded. Now, Dexter Reed's mother, Nicole Banks, was supported by family uh, when she fainted and she apparently recovered from her fainting spell. She was able to talk to reporters afterwards. In Westtown, Julian Cruz, WGN News. All right, Julian, thank you.